Sometimes you need to be able to draw 2D entities in 3D space, but that can be kind of tricky. Drafting in 2D is straightforward because everything is done in the XY plane, a single drawing area. 3D space, however, has mathematically an infinite number of drawing planes, and that's why it gets tricky. I've drawn here a 3D cube made with the box command, and I've used the vports command to split the screen into three so you can see what's going on. In this view, you have the isometric view, here is the front view with a bit of the edges showing, and the top view also with a bit of the sides showing. The most common way to draw in 3D is to provide 3D coordinates. So for example, I can draw a line and start at 1, 1, 3, and draw it up to, say, 2, 1, 2. Now the uh, third digit there is the z-coordinate, the distance the line goes up. So here you can see the line. Here in the side view you see it going up and in the top view going over. When you select the line, you can come over to the properties and change the coordinates by entering in z-values. It makes the line go up in 3D space. Not all 2D entities can be drawn in 3D. For example, the circle. So I'll draw a circle here, but all you can do is give it a center point and a radius. There is no way of entering a Z coordinate to tilt it when you select it. And come over to the properties bar. You can see the Z coordinates, which tells how high it is. There, I've changed it to four and it goes higher up. But there's even a more interesting section called the normal. And normal is a mathematics term, meaning an entity is perpendicular to an axis. So in this case, the fact that z equals 1 means it's perpendicular to the z-axis. Let me change x to 1. What happens? Well, now it's at 45 degrees because it's uh, perpendicular to both the x and the z-axis. Now if I change z to 0, now the circle is perpendicular to the x-axis. And you can see that by going down to the UCS icon and noticing that the x is pointing through the circle, as it were. You can in fact manipulate the values of the normal to get any angle you want, but that gets complicated because you have to figure out the cosine of each coordinate to get the angle that you want. It is, however, useful for entering in values like 1 and 0 to get things at 45 and 90 degrees to the three axes. I find the easiest way to draw in 3D is on the face of a 3D object. Normally it works like this. I draw a circle. Oops, it's just drawn in the XY plane. So come down to the status bar, turn on dynamic UCS, and this time when you start a circle, the face over which your cursor is hovering gets highlighted, and then you can draw your circle at that angle. If you need to draw the circle at the same angle as the face but not on the face, then once again start the command, tap the shift key, notice that the face turns dark blue, move your cursor where you need it to, and then it's drawn at the angle of the face. Let's combine what we've learned and add a bit more. So to draw a circle on a face, make sure dynamic UCS is turned on, and then draw the circle. Once it's drawn, you can select it, go over to the properties bar, and then change the Z coordinate to raise it off the top of the face. Now, once it's raised, you may want to tilt it. One way to do that is with the 3D rotate command. Whereas in the rotate command, you rotate something around a point, in 3D, you're going to rotate it around an axis. And so you can specify the axis by an entity, which I would advise ignoring because that's a really complicated option, by the view or by the axes. And the most important ones are the three axes. So I'm going to first rotate it around the Y axis. Type in Y. Now what does that mean? Well, you see here the UCS icon. The Y is pointing in this direction. So the circle is going to flip around that Y. Specify point on the y-axis. I'll accept the default and now it wants the rotation angle. I'm going to type 45 and so you can see it has rotated by 45 degrees Around the y-axis with the axis running through 000. Let me undo that and uh, repeat the command to show a few other changes this time I'm going to rotate it about the x-axis 
specify a point. This time I'm going to specify the center of the circle using entity snap. Rotation angle 45 and now you can see it's tilted in place. I would be remiss in not mentioning the manipulator which you turn on by entering manipulator and then setting the value to 1 or 2 and then selecting the entity you want to manipulate in 3D space. Remember to orbit, hold down the shift key while you hold down the middle button and move the mouse. That lets you get a better view of what's going on. So the manipulator lets you move things relative to the axes. This green bar lets you move it and this time it's in the Y direction. Remember green always refers to Y, red to X and blue to Z. These bars here let you rotate it and not just freehand but also by entering an exact value in the direct entry box. The arrowhead makes a mirrored copy unless you right click the manipulator and change that to scale. Then when you move the arrowhead it changes the size of the 2D entity. Thank mm -hmm. you.